Hey, welcome back inside the Mind of Matt. And I'm back with Mo, my yard sale mono price maker select ramp conversion with a Titan arrow. Z brace all kinds of upgrades. Stay tuned. All right, so here's Mo. He's a mono price maker select. I did buy him at a yard sale. It was actually a virtual yard sale off of Facebook. And I got it and it had a burnt up board. The Melzy board inside was, the hotbed side was all burnt up. And it had a converted hot end. It was either a E3D V6 or clone, but it replicated that wasn't set up right didn't have a proper mount printed out a proper mount got it all set up and it just wouldn't extrude so i ended up putting the e3d titan arrow purchased it from matter hackers then we did this conversion which i put the 120 millimeter fan on it and just for Clarification, I have mine blowing in. It's been working. I'm sticking with it. This was what was on there. The prior, the previous owner kind of did his own upgrades. So let's see. Other than those, those are the main things. I do print through a Raspberry Pi with Octoprint. Let's talk about some of the little tweaky things that you can do to this thing. Let's start off with this guy right here in conjunction with this. This is to replace the stock position of the limit switch from here, which is kind of hard to adjust. Now I just have this little screw, get a nice little fine adjustment, hits that, done. So all these parts I'm going to leave in the description, so make sure you check that out, the mount and everything. Uh, then we did the Z-Brace, I did a video about that on my other mono price, Maker Select. I, they did come out with a, another version that came through the back, but I had already started this print by the time I had saw that successfully install it once before so I stuck with it while we're back here with the switches I also repositioned with this little tricky guy if you can see it it's got a, several different holes lined up that you can adjust it and this allows me to actually get let's see if we can hit click I can get a lot more clearance in the front. This cable support is another one of the upgrades. Now this is my most recent addition. This is 3D printed, a replica of the stock one. I'm already starting to see some sagging in this. I, I literally just printed this today and I have not print anything but I'm about to rearrange got some new furniture so I needed to get him out of the way so I could move and I figured I'd do a little feature on him and show the upgrades but what I printed with it well the last few videos I printed the nut and bowl I printed the turntable I did some wax I ended up getting some proto pastas high five from the 3D printing nerd and the normal PLA I've been printing a lot of that because I've been doing lithopanes as well and that's been keeping me busy with my three printers but I would like to go over some of the settings that I did use in Marlin but what I have found that I've had to adjust them several times in order to get my speeds and acceleration 
to where they are right now so there is a possibility of a future video where I will go through Marlin and show you the settings that I have made I do have if anybody was interested I could probably send you a copy of the configuration H file that I did make and you can make some comparisons to yours or whatever if I could help out I could I will that is so but anyways this is Mo I will uh, fire him up and do a little print for you and then we'll uh, end this video so don't forget to make sure that you like this video by hitting that thumbs up subscribe before you leave hit that notification check out all my links in the description I've got affiliate links for matter hackers and gear best and a couple things you can check out but leave a comment too please keep them comments coming you guys have been talking to me I appreciate it so onward and forward let's fire up Mo and get it printing I don't know let's print a lithopane well for some reason my time lapse did not work so this is the lithopane that I printed can you read what it says